Well, I think my, uh, my game cha- my game changing moment in my career would have been probably the summer of 93 when I met Sully Erna, who is the uh, singer for Godsmack and uh, been a drummer his whole life, a uh, really good player. And our two bands toured together back then. And somehow we ended up, we ended up in a van driving from Mississippi to the Carolinas, I think just the two of us, so we talked about music, and we rapped, and we got to know each other a little better, and we just kept in touch uh, after our two bands went our separate ways, and about a year and a half later, he gives me a call, and he says, uh, I got an idea, I got a possible gig for you, because we would tell each other about gigs that we heard about, and he said, uh, you're going to laugh, because um, I'm going to sing, and I thought that was hilarious at the time. So I came out to Boston, and that was, uh, that's the beginning of Godsmack right there. And um, subsequently, uh, you know, being a kid growing up, all I ever read about and dreamed about were those, that gold record. And uh, on the first Ozfest we did in 99, the record went gold and platinum on that tour. So that was when I kind of knew something was up and it really changed the landscape of my, my life and my career at that point. Uh, and then, oddly enough, the next thing was my fiance now, uh, her band opened up for us before we were even signed back in 98. And her father is Gary Chester, who wrote The New Breed. So we were just friends for years. Um, and through meeting her and, and us doing some shows together, I, I had always heard of The New Breed and didn't. I didn't pay much attention to it because I was, you know, I was a rock player. I couldn't be bothered with anything good. <laughs> and uh, so I got reacquainted with this whole thing. And um, unfortunately, I never got a chance to meet him because he passed away in 87. But it was kind of reliving all that stuff. And being a drummer's daughter, she hasn't cut me any slack. 